Hi, this is Paul with Equipped Expedition Outfitters. Today I would like to talk to you about the best options for mounting the Easy On BAT 270, Manta 270, Swift, or Light awnings. What's common with all of these awnings is the design of the extrusion on the back of that awning. There is a big aluminum extrusion on the back that holds the bag in place, that holds all of the awning components inside. Now on the back of that extrusion are two T-slots. They're designed for an eight millimeter bolt and they run horizontally the full length of that awning uh, so that you can move those bolts anywhere along that application that suits your needs, whatever that might be, whether we're mounting to uh, a roof rack or load bars or to the side of a trailer or a camper, whatever your application might be, you choose where those locations are along the back of that awning and add some mounts. Now the mounts that they're using is what we call a, uh, well, Batman, a swift uh, light awning mount. It's two pieces of C-channel and they are mated together. One goes over the top of them. So one goes here and one goes here and a couple stainless steel bolts hold them together. Now what that does is allows us to utilize the holes in the back of this C-channel here to slide anywhere across that uh, face of the back of the awning. The other bracket, this is the bracket you mount to whatever surface it might be. Okay, and this has vertical adjustments in it, so you can adjust height-wise to suit your needs as well. Once the two pieces are together, one on the awning, one on the surface, you put those together and that's where these bolts come in together. And that's how you mount the uh, awning onto that surface. Okay, so now what are, what are our applications and what can we provide through Easy On to meet our needs and some of the needs that are outside of the Easy On family of products? Well, first of all, let's, let's talk about the, uh, the ones that we can do for the Easy On ones. A good majority of the awnings that we are putting uh, on canine racks in this variety of awning utilize one of two brackets. Let's talk about this first bracket here. This is called, aptly so, the Batmanta Swift Awning Mount. Now what this is designed to do is, well, of course it's a, it's a uh, very strong L bracket here with a diagonal back brace in here. And the reason for this diagonal back brace is because the Bat, Manta, and Swift awnings are all designed with a hinged rafter arm that goes out into place. Now when those rafter arms go out into place and you've got all the material of your awning going out into place, that creates, when you're swinging those out here, that creates a lot of downforce. Gravity comes into play here and you've got a lot of torque on the hinges of that awning and consequently the extrusion that that awning is mounted to. Okay, so that creates a lot of downforce. So what we need to do is to brace the, the mount here to manage that torque, that weight. We've got 40 pounds of stuff floating out in space up to seven feet from the vehicle. So it's very important that we have that in place here, okay? So this awning mount matches the back surface of this awning mount here, okay? So that allows you to mount that bracket onto here and adjust it height-wise, all right? This bracket now sits on top of the rack system like so. This allows the awning to be elevated above the, uh, the roof rack system for added height if your vehicle's uh, roof is rather low. Or the other option is to mount it downward like we have in this position here where your bracket goes down and the diagonal uh, back brace goes between the first slat and the side of the roof rack. That makes it very nice to keep the top flush. This comes in handy if you're putting a rooftop tent on top of your vehicle and you need that extra surface on the side of your roof rack system. So you can either mount it with the L up or you can mount it with the L down with that diagonal back brace in place. One thing to make sure that you do is that you do not extend this bracket too far forward over the edge of the rack system. And what we found is that if, if you adjust this too far forward this way, over time, the bracket will actually start to torque down. With all that torque, it will start to bend in this surface. But if your rack is here, right to the edge, you won't have that problem. 
and it works out perfectly fine. It works out great. All right, so that's a great option for a canine roof rack. Now this bracket can also be modified to be used on other roof rack surfaces, especially if they're the flat style racks that are out there. So you might need to adjust some holes, uh, adapt the holes to configure to what you have, but you could use this bracket on a series of other flat racks. It's a very good bracket. All right, well, in a lot of applications, folks aren't using a, uh, a roof rack system. They just want an awning on the top of their vehicle they have a set of load bars or something of that nature. Ezeon has come up with a bracket that we're calling, aptly so, the Bat Mantis Swift Load Bar Awning Mount. Very creative name. Now what that is designed to do is this bracket here is a, a, a thicker material that uh, utilizes in this, in this brace here. We have a vertical surface that is now centered on that bracket and we have some gussets in here to manage that weight like we talked about before. What this allows us to do is to take a load bar like we have here and mount this on the end of that load bar for our awning to go into place, okay? The eight millimeter T-slots inside the aluminum extrusion here of the Ezeon load bar match up with the eight millimeter slots on the, on the bracket and it becomes a very, very strong uh, application for an awning on load bars specifically. This is a, a very sturdy bracket and will take care of those, uh, those applications for you. So there you are. There's the uh, mounting options, the best options that we have for the, uh, the Easy On Bat 270, Manta 270, Swift, and Light Mounts. I hope this was of help. If not, or you have specific application questions, Please let us know at equippedone.com. Thank you.